Hello everyone. In my previous video, I explained about web safe colors and web file formats. Today I'm going to show you how to create animated GIF files in two different ways. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, so let me show you uh, the animations. Live preview. So two animated GIF files. One is kind of shaking, another one is bouncing. Okay. Okay, so uh, first, the frame-by-frame -frame animation. Uh, so please download this image from the link I provided. So this is the, um, uh, the Angry Bird <laughs> uh, the .png file. And then the first thing is I'm going to have some kind of a uh, white background. So um, current image has the transparent background for now. So let me create a new layer on the bottom, so I move to the bottom, and then um, set the, your foreground color to white and uh, using the, your uh, paint bucket tool on bottom layer, fill it in. So I have a white background. Okay, so now we can pr uh, create the, the animated GIF file. Go to Windows menu, choose the timeline. Then, as you can see, there are two different options create a video timeline or create frame animation so uh, let's do this one first create frame animation and click okay so we have document here let me pull this up so we have a document window and we have a timeline panel and we have a layers, but let me pull this uh, layers panel here. Okay. So <clears throat> frame number one. On frame number one, I'm seeing my white, white background and my um, angry bird. So that's it. So we need to create the frame, uh, frame number two now. But um, um, there's no option for a new frame. You just need to duplicate it by clicking this plus button in your timeline panel. So I have the same one. So frame number one and frame number two is exactly the same thing. What I need to do is, let me select my Angry Bird layer and let me duplicate it, duplicate the layer. Okay, so on frame number one in here, I'm seeing white background and the first Angry Bird, but I don't need to see the top one. Okay, on frame number two, I'm supposed to see white background and the top Angry Bird, not the first one. So, so far, one and two is the same, but I'm compare this when you highlight the frame number one. See, the bottom two layers are visible when I select the frame number two bottom and the top layers, those two layers are visible. So on top layer, uh, let me select the, uh, choose uh, transform and then um, the, uh, maybe rotate it. I'm going to rotate just a little bit like this and hit the return. And let me hit the play button. See? So this happens. I'm going to do a little more. Let me create the other highlight of frame number two and duplicate it again. So I have a frame number three. So we're going to need another, the third angry bird. So on top layer is selected. Let me duplicate it. Okay. So let me check here from frame number one. On frame number one, bottom two layers are supposed to be visible, not the top one. On frame number two, first and the second Angry Bird. Frame number three, the top Angry Bird only. So one, two, and three. On top layer, let me choose the, the Rotate Transform tool. I'm going to rotate maybe this direction this time. And hit the Return. And let me play it. See? So 
so it is Angry Bird. So once you're done, go to File, Save for uh, the Export, and Save for Web. And let me save it. Supposed to be GIF. Has to be GIF file. And save it. Two. I'm gonna make it a new uh, root folder. I have this yes, uh, multiple <laughs> root folder, so let me say uh, root number three. Okay, and create it. And then let me create another new folder for the images. And now I'm going to save it as Angry Bird number one.gif. Okay, so that's it. Okay. Now, let me create the second one. Okay, so uh, please download this file as well. Uh, I provided the link. Uh, so Angry Bird BG, the JPEG, JPEG file. What I'm going to do is, let me select this very bottom one, the very first Angry Bird, and select all. And let me copy and then I'm going to paste it. Okay. All right. Let me make it a little bit smaller. Edit, transform, and scale. Hold down the option, make it a little bit smaller. And move it down somewhere here and hit the return. Okay. So, same timeline. Uh, but on this time, in my first animation, we were using create frame animation. This time, we're going to use create video timeline. And click. So um, it looks kind of a little bit different. Let me pull this back to the end of this, <clears throat> the panel. Okay. So as you can see, uh, it's quite, it's almost kind of five second animation. I don't need all of them. So I only want to have one second animation. So let me pull this segment to here. So one second animation. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. And then once you collapse the other, you're the first layer, you can see the several options. Uh, what I'm going to do, we can do that from here, but on layer one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the option for this layer. So select the, your Angry Bird layer, go to drop down menu, and choose convert to smart object. So with this smart object option, you can have, <coughs> excuse me, uh, more options. Okay, now let me take a look. See, I have a transform, so um, I have more options. So now, let me do this. Um, we're not going to change a lot. We're going to change this, this to transform only, so you can make some changes. Okay, so first, let me click on this the uh, stopwatch. Do you see that diamond? It is called um, keyframe, meaning keyframe is the frame you can make some change. So I have one. So my plan is I want to make it kind of a bound, bouncing. Okay, so on 0.5 frame second, let me create another keyframe by clicking this diamond, so you see that. Now next stop, it's a little bit closer. Keyframe. About the same amount. Or a little closer. Maybe that should be okay. Keyframe. And I'm gonna do more. Even closer, keyframe. So plan is from the top, ground, top, ground, top, and ground. Maybe one more. Keyframe. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, let me highlight the very first keyframe, this one. So move your playhead to the beginning, and then 
select your move tool and I'm gonna move this angry bird out of stage so this is happening and on my third keyframe I'm gonna move him but not too high just like this okay and my um, fifth keyframe just a little bit maybe about this so let me play it okay in order to give some kind of little more uh, excitement <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is when there's the angry birds uh, kind of bouncing I want to rotate it a little bit so I'll transform and rotate it maybe about this okay see and then maybe this one I'm going to rotate in the opposite direction maybe like this and hit the return so watch okay so it's not too bad so let me save it for web <clears throat> as a gif again save it this time uh, i'm going to save it as angry underscore bird number two dot gif okay so now let's um <clears throat> place it in the html document so let me open brackets okay let me create a new document and I'm gonna save it first into uh, my the new root folder which is it was on my documents uh, folder root number three okay I'm gonna save it as index.html always okay so let me start with the HTML okay and let me have a uh, head uh, if you missed this one uh, you can uh, refer my previous video for the uh, kind of uh, uh, really really basic part of HTML document um, the creating the new HTML document thing I'm gonna have the title of this page will be uh, angry birds okay now after head I want to have a body uh, let me have a heading h1 this time um, animated angry birds okay so after that let me import img src image source equal under images let me import the bird one first now second images img src equal images and bird number two and let me save it and then let me open it uh, from my web browser or I can do the live preview from here see animated angry birds so two animated GIF file okay so that's it I hope you enjoyed this uh, and thanks for watching and see you next time.